Jesus, you guys scared me. I didn't expect to see you there. Didn't expect you all to be in air conditioning with everyone else. I suppose all that's cooled off from the near record temps of 101, 103 degrees in this area in the town just a few miles west of here. You know, Watoma, Wisconsin, they had 101, 102, with 103, you know, without the heat index. Uh, official National Weather Service measurements or reporting station reported it. Just absolutely brutal. And uh, just before filming uh, last week and throwing the videos, the last three or right at right in the middle of it, bricks went out in my truck. So that's uh. Well, actually, took a couple weeks ago now. Been in the shop. It uh, you know, it went on a Friday, so you know I couldn't get into the shop then. Then uh, Tuesday, I thought that I better cancel the logs. No, the logs came in. I'm like, oh dear God, you know. And uh, I'm like, well. He said, uh, do the best you can. So that's what, what I'm going to do. Then I got the bad news on the brakes. Is, well, the, I figured, you know, pads and rotors in the front and the brake line. That was more than that. The master cylinder, too. I'm like, okay. And so now, now we're at a thousand bucks instead of, you know, six, seven hundred. Now we're at a thousand. Then it gets worse. Turns out the rear brakes needed to be done too. So between that, the bleeding and the brake lines, 1700 bucks. Yeah, I know, I know, I hear you already complaining. Why didn't you do it yourself? Well, I, I work five or four days a week, depending on the week, and I need the truck for the weekend right away. I can't be fixing it, so it's and it's a matter of getting the parts, having the tools to do it, and it's like, I just decided to bite the bullet and uh, just pay the shop to do it. Uh, so I had to get all kinds of tools. And then too, uh, the last video why I wasn't feeling good, it's a combination of dehydration and allergies. Boy, did that really suck. Dehydration and allergies, that's a bad combination right there. So what I'm doing today, I'm just uh, getting some wood in for the restocking the roadside stand rack so people have wood to buy. Now that's going to be you know, in the low 70s this weekend, low to mid 70s and less humidity, people might want to burn. so. And they're starting to think now with the weather making a turn for it to be cooler according to the long range forecast i gotta get everything stocked because labor day weekend is next weekend which you will have already experienced and this is the wood i split with the uh tree service wood with the 12-way wedge this is more of a a furnace piece but you know that'd be good for campfire mix out of the center of the 12-way wedge hey you're looking at like a three by four not counting the trapezoid so that's a long burn piece for a uh, campfire people once in a while they want once in a while they want the uh, a piece that burns a while you know What else is going on? Uh, not much. Sales have been absolutely garbage. Mainly because of the hot weather and two, people don't know where I am from the old location that used to buy for me all the time. So, and I'm not right by the campgrounds like I used to be. Which does hurt sales. You know, I should have sold another five cord of wood at this point but 
heating season is coming, so we'll see what I can do to help those customers because they'll be wanting uh, probably oak. You know, they're like a Chris in the wood yard says they want oak, the wood snobs. It's the only oak is the only good wood there is because they're a daddy burn oak, the granddaddy burned oak, the great granddaddy, the great 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 granddaddy burned oak. That's the only wood they know, and the only wood they'll take. So, I don't have much oak left for those people. And it's all more or less campfire sized. You know, a lot of this came off the 12 way. Bunch of these from the center, so that's good for them, but for bundle wood, I'd have to split that down. Right now, it's 70, seven or so degrees dew point of 68 69 humidity of a bazillion this matter of powering through to get the wheelbarrow loaded Yeah, I just mowed the wood yard uh, five days ago and it looks like it needs mowing again. <sighs> All right. Enough chit chat. Let's get the music going and get working. I mean, actually, work instead of yapping. go I got three four foot racks and one of the $20 racks right there stocked up so now I have uh, wood to sell could have sold some last week but I wasn't feeling too good and then I couldn't get to it so uh, yeah looking a lot better now that it's stocked up all set to go we got oak here these racks uh, mixed hardwood in the yellow bags and cherry in the red ones then I have a couple pieces of oak here pine cherry and that one $20 rack all oak here and pine and cherry in that other one so we got the customers a good mix Nothing I could do about the traffic. It is Highway 21 going through Red Granite, Wisconsin, so expect a lot of traffic, at least until winter, so. 
that's it folks I'm gonna go home get showered up and then get ready for some time with uh, my favorite favorite girl in the world my little little sprout my mini me God help us all I think she's developed my attitude Lord please have mercy on us if she's like she is like me as a kid amen so till next time folks take care get out there do something have fun doing it